little kids and sweatshop. I mean, I... I do. <laughs> Rick, I'm a job creator. Rick puts them in there. Uh, is this too crazy? Do I need the hat? Is this bonkers? Dude, it can't get any worse Dude, than mine. How, how close do we get... It, it would do extreme close-ups, but only the hair. Just the pores. <laughs> it's, it's from here up. up. Yeah. Like, it's we here ignore up. the face a lot on this podcast. You know. Sometimes just we'll let, just get your people, foot. Let the people know that I went no hat. Let so. the people guess. Why do you want your hat off? Why do I want it off? Yeah. I could throw it on. I mean, it looks fine. I like it wild like that. Like wild? Let me go on Kramer. He's like me. He's a plopper. What you still plop? Dude, oh, yeah. Oh, you plop? Our... <laughs> Our listeners will Hello. definitely want to smash. Hello. I see. It looks good. I mean, it looks that looks good. crazy. Yeah, but it, it does. Good. looks good with yeah. the black. All right. Like the background. I'm letting my true. I'm coming out. I, Guys and girls are going to be like, how do we fuck this guy? Time. How do we? Well, this isn't plopping. This is just curls the day after. Yeah, he lets it. Well, yeah, we're rolling. It's a real curveball, you know? Some I kind of switch hit. One day I come in, yeah, it's yeah. blow-dried straight. Wild. Sometimes I come in, curls. You don't know. Uh, Rick's just checking us all out. Yeah. What do you look like? I'm, I'm trying to system. see if there's any beaver shots. Oh, let me get it. Yeah, we're all going to do like a basic instinct <laughs> shot. Just At least one. <laughs> I got a rolling? hole in my I jeans. Know this I think we're rolling. On. I like that they left us. That's important. Are we rolling? Um, yes, we are. Oh, thanks. Oh, so you can go back going. out there. We don't need you. Uh, it's so good. It's uh, yeah. Welcome back to checking ourselves out. <laughs> checking ourselves out. The number out. one show where we just I, check ourselves we, on the out. We've never had a we monitor. Like oh, this, this is just so, changes everything. It's it been really a does. On the pod, you guys are on the come up because this yeah. wasn't here last time. No, I had, a, I had to guess what I look like. Comedy There's, Store podcast yeah. is on the way up. Last this time, is real wood. Last time you were here, we didn't know if we recorded that. <laughs> That's true. You would come in as a well, That's a why we have you yeah. back. Like, I hope there's cameras recording this. Cameras. <laughs> we meant <Come> audio. <laughs> Just... There was times where the guy was like, well, the good news is uh, I deleted the the all the track, but the bad news was I didn't record it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, okay. Have well, you done those? Con- did so you... we didn't really lose anything. Right. <laughs> We we have had you on before, yeah, yeah, and it yeah. did come out. It did come out. Just making it sure. Was, you got to check. There. The Comedy you Store, know. you have to double check. Yeah. Did they comedy actually... Store podcast is run much like the club. Just kind of. Uh, on well. point. <laughs> strategically, always with the best interests. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> right in the anyway. We got so, Fahim. Uh, right Fahim there. Thank you. Here. Thank you. Great to be in the new studio. A lot oh, of people. Whoa, people are cheering. Yeah, a lot of people... <sighs> Uh, th- we're live. This is like TRL. I don't yeah, know if you're yeah. aware, but yeah, there's there's plenty of people, people can't outside see the studio. Here. There's, they're just and, like uh, standing out there. You can see the rodents that our, live down here. Uh-huh. Our man on the streets out there interviewing the chicks. Oh, that's pretty they're cool. They're very Ooh. into yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So very nice. Um, TRL. That was a thing. Did you watch that? Of course. Well, I kind of <laughs> think I did too. You know, I've thought about this. Just like you know, when we were growing up, there was only particular outlets to get culture. So and now kids can watch content from kids, whereas we had to watch right. we had to watch Yo Mama on MTV. <laughs> you, know you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, because because it was just like a sixty year old approximation of what kids want to watch. So obviously sure. it's not going to be one for one. Whereas right. now kids can just watch other cool kids on TikTok, and it's exactly what's going on in the culture. Like, whereas oh, like, wow. but in our day it was like some sixty year old like the kids want to watch Wilmer Valderrama host a Yo Mama competition. <laughs> you know. But- or like kids want to watch thirty uh, year olds receding hairlines pretending to be in high school with nine zero two one zero. You know what I mean? I was just gonna say well, Beverly Hills. Yeah. Here's, Every time my sister watched that, I'd be like, "Here's the we thing." We had to though. watch approximations if, of youth. If yeah. Wilmer Valmorano rebooted that on TikTok, get his name right, dude. Show some respect. It's <laughs> Wilmer Valderrama. Wilmer Fez. Valmorano. He was canoodling a lot on the come up. He if, would do that seventies show, Wilbur, and he would be caught canoodling at nightclubs. Oh, Wilmer, Wilmer. Valder. I'm gonna walk. <laughs> <laughs> If you if you butcher his name one more time, I'm walking. Willow Felderino. What the fuck? <laughs> Take my mic off. There's no mic. <laughs> yeah. What's he? What's that mic from? He was, what was he, he was recording? Really... <laughs> was he recording his own? I always bring my own mic. Sting operation. I've been fucked on too many pods, so I always record. He plugs himself myself. in. I have a wire. I'm like, I never said that. They took liberties. Um, All right, the hat's going on, guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm, I'm, Whoa. Yeah, oh, dang. Dude, hold on. This my, is my, just like the movie like Over the both. Top. You Whoa. know why? It matches your eyes. Have, like It brings the greenish. I have brown eyes. 
It's got a little green over here, hazily, well, Rick. Oh my God, it's funny that you noticed that. Okay, yeah. I have two different colored eyes, but they're very slight. So my left is hazel and my right is brown. Where's the camera we can whoa, go into? Hold I can on. see it, Damn, cat eyes. Like a... What the fuck? It, I, whoa, people never realize this. Only like once every two years, someone well, will I notice my it. left. Can you tell? I see it Hold now. on, what camera am I looking at? Right, yeah, you've got it right. Dead center? Dead center, right here. Zoom in, is this 4K? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll punch in after, don't Can we get an 8K camera? <laughs> is it possible? <laughs> he, stays, he stays still. Can you make, yeah, I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to move. Is there a way also, <laughs> can you do like a slow zoom in? <laughs> Like we it's need it very uh, dramatic. We're still zooming. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, good, 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 good. It's going to go all the way in. Yeah, yeah, like it's an M. Night Shyamalan scene. Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, but cool yeah, you on this that. side, you know what it is? The lights are so bright. You could probably see my root canal. Yeah. I just, you're. Hey, you have nice eyes too. I've never seen it in this light. Yeah. It's nice. You're just hazel. 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 First of all, Brian Holtzman. Hey, dude, blues over here. Oh, my here. God. That was so funny. Brian Holtzman got lost in Eleanor's eyes once oh, during a podcast. Really? Oh, my God. A little I mean, we weird. Were, we were like, like really full chatting, was, going around chatting, and he was just lost. If in it. we would have had cameras at that point, there would have been a lot of shots. <laughs> oh, yeah, of him just like did he? Ha was it like a she's all that moment where yeah, he's like, I've, nev <laughs> I've never seen Eleanor like this. She was this beautiful before. You have goes, eyes. Get the dogs it. away from Eleanor. <laughs> 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 he always pretended there was dogs in here. For and then we'd be like, What are you doing? And he'd be like, He'd go. It's radio. They don't know that the dog's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows. He does his own right. foley. <laughs> <laughs> what was the dog's name? Spot? No. Uh, sit. Fuck. I could hear him yelling. Fido. Or, yeah, something. Fido. Classic, sit, classic, sit, sit. It was name. so Holtzman-y. But yeah, we were Get just... Get the dog away from the baby! <laughs> Keep that dog away from the baby! <laughs> Why is there a baby? No crying. It's the radio! <laughs> Has he done a video one yet? <laughs> He does so his he's own done stuff them. now. Yeah. yeah. But that that was really he just kept coming on the podcast so and he'd go, good. I keep being told I need more content. More content. <laughs> he's not wrong. He's he's ahead of the curve. That's what I keep hearing too. That's what people say. You content need is more king. Contact? Yeah, no, content. Oh. Yeah, come on. I don't content. think so. You do a lot. I you think do it's great. I only I live to make content. But you do great with your kind. Do you influence? Do I? I don't I don't feel like I do. I try. Are you influential? Uh, no. I mean, to a degree, small time, I guess. I'm not like, I don't know, some people. Do you I'm not like Emma Chamberlain, guys. Oh, I don't know who that is. You're not either. plugged in, dude. I'm definitely I don't not. I think I am either. Who do I Emma need to be? Emma Chamberlain. That does yeah. sound familiar. YouTube. I don't know. That's I like don't a, even YouTube. I've never even YouTubed. You've, yeah, you have. I mean, I've seen YouTube videos, you but I've never. You're like, on there. You're on there. Stuff when you were touring them. with Rock, some of your stuff is up there. Do you just let it be, or are you like, take this down? I don't, if someone don't wants to watch me being a monster, I almost feel I like care. that's the only way to get some of your great stand-up online, is just people filming it and not letting you know, because you're, like, you're not proactive. <laughs> yeah, you're like, so yeah. just like bootleg Rick Ingram Someone copies. sent me a thing, it was like in Oakland. Are they yes. short? And it's like, my brother, because like, my brother loves you, you know? And like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So when he was in town, there was another friend, and he pulled up your stuff, and it was that Oakland thing. Yeah. So is just, it a short clip? A couple people hit me up. It's like my whole set yeah. no, it's the whole Chris set. Yeah. And like they obviously put up mine and Chris Rock's, and then Chris Rock's got taken down immediately. Yeah, I was gonna say this is and, crazy yeah. that they do Rick that because is the then, He's just like, leave it up. So when thanks for recording. <laughs> yeah, so it's me a thing, and I'm like, yeah, well. And then my wife was like, Are, aren't you worried that some of the stuff that you say is gonna offend people? I'm like, that part I don't care about. I'm just yeah. saying, like, I mean, your if they whole... ever see me live, they're gonna hear me say. What it's if not like, like your special is just gonna be vantage points of people filming your like set on iPhones? That's a good idea. Yeah, well, have I mean, people I mean, send it in. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get just say, guys, and, and, I'm too and, lazy to actually like we'll set up a Lee camera put crew. It together. A lot of comics yeah, that'll take no time at all. <laughs> a lot <laughs> of comics don't want film cameras out at their show. I'm the opposite. You're a purist. You like your stuff shot on a BlackBerry 8900. I prefer specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then. Um, when I'm making fun of someone, if you wouldn't mind putting your phone down and then everyone in the surrounding area is really focusing. Yeah. Yeah. Even to a, like a... <laughs> that close. Or is dystopian. Yeah. But it might He's be just cool. sitting on the stage with you. Yeah, or just like filming you and then when you start ripping them a new asshole, say, so like, can you change it to the front-facing camera? Do you mind and doing then us you just the switch? See, you just see their feelings get crushed. <laughs> but your audio, so you can see like a heartbreaking in real that time. Would be nice. That would be I like, cool yeah, be like, shit. Hey, I'm talking to you. I'm going to roast you. Can you like switch the camera so I can see yeah, your yeah. face? Don't be a fucking coward. And then they're just, cry they're just crying. <laughs> You, just, you look like you haven't been hugged, period, you fucking creep. 
Somebody mm. put Dice's whole set from Vancouver, and I immediately was like, "Oh, did they get mine? I had a good set." Yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> <whatever>. yeah. <laughs> they did not. Isn't it funny? They did like not. a thing that makes these people who are so huge like furious, like take it down. Yeah, you we guys had to like, we had to hey, yeah, email them and try to get it down. I don't know. You if go, it do you have more? Yet. Yeah. You- <laughs> You're like, can you clip that? Should get my, How long yeah. did you, get you start, <laughs> if possible? Can you come to Jersey with me. <laughs> what time did you get there? I liked your technique. I enjoyed. <laughs> I think maybe I want to do a whole thing like hidden camera style. Uh-huh. Yes, it's very similar to Buzzkill on MTV <laughs> in the nineties. Oh yeah, I don't think I know that. It was just, just a, like the name. one of the ridiculous prank shows of that. Oh, oh, era. okay. That's why I know the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about yeah, the yeah. grind? Do you guys remember MTV's The Grind? Mm-hmm. That was like my generation's uh, Soul Train. How old are you? Thirty something. Thirty nine. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. When I cut was that cut- out. Well, when I- <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to do Nickelodeon and Please. Disney. <laughs> cut it out. I'm trying to. Fit. I'm like, You're are we the not the same era. generation? Let's run it back. <laughs> Can we 20, take that back? Twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah. You're in the wrong era. You're gonna <laughs> things have are to cray live. cray. Things are cray cray these days. <laughs> Today you have to be the real age you are on TV. You no do. more bullshit. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's okay. no more. There's no more acting. I'm kidding. Right? There's no more acting. I'm yeah. just saying. Like he was saying that we had to live. You know, watch older people play high school, but you know, it wasn't the same. Yeah. You weren't watching kids. Yeah. I don't, listen, so, I don't want to put you on the spot, but we're trying to get clicks. Please. Do you think you should be able to play trans characters in movies? Go. <laughs> Me? Um, hey, maybe it's, like... um, yes and no. Uh, um, uh, it depends. So your if, thoughts are trans. If you're an ally, <laughs> then your intentions are in the right place. Um, Incorrect answer. Get no. this guy canceled. Fuck. <laughs> I went to college with this guy. Okay. Uh, he was he was odd. He was an artist, you know, like actual painting art and stuff like that. Okay. Um, and then after college, we had a mutual friend, and he was like, "Oh, you know, I'm still hanging out with him." And I'm like, "Oh, that's cool." And then a couple months later, he's like, "You know, he's becoming a woman." And I was like, "Oh, yeah, okay." You know, still tracking sure artist like yeah okay that makes sense i guess and then i go oh so whatever happened what do we call her and this is like maybe four years later and he's like oh no he uh he went back to being him like a year <laughs> maybe a year and a half ago and i was like find oh, out how hard well? it is to be a woman huh and so then after that i'm like all right now i don't know now i'm now i'm confused right a year is a nice chunk though you know Year's good. i think if it was three months then yeah. People would be supportive, but then also like, yeah, okay. A kid I grew up with is transitioning now. He waited a very long time. Uh-huh. Sure. And uh, she, she oh. now. Monster. Um, yeah, <laughs> my ball. I set this Just conversation up as a trap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap door. I fall through it. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, he's transitioning now, but like as kid, like he was always gay, but like, and was way more woman than I could ever be. Mm. So I would go to him for tips yeah on how to be don't hide behind this eleanor be a girl yeah. hey how do i do this <laughs> and now hey, she turns but i'm saying it's you working. you should have Damn to wait <laughs> thank you it's yeah uh, you so learn. what's up <laughs> ah shit <laughs> my balls drop out he put uh, his hat on backwards because just like over the top he's gonna arm wrestle that's you true know? that's why i got excited <laughs> that's what he would do i'm ready everybody knows that. <laughs> hey 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 Hey, hey, rude. Hey, hey, everybody hey, hey, do, do, my hat around. That was me that I'm ready to do. Haters gonna hate. Did you, did you never watch it? No, it's been a long time. Did you see the Sly do- documentary? Yes. No. It's pretty yes. good. Yes. Excellent. Good. Thank yeah. you. He doesn't like Rocky, so don't even talk to him. I love Rocky. Do not make Rocky eye contact with amazing. him. Yeah, ever right now again. we're talking about a movie that involves <laughs> trucking and arm wrestling in the custody of a child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. It's a new skit we're doing. Sly explains his movies. Yeah. This is the big rig truck. This is, this is the pitch meeting. <laughs> <laughs> you just like Sly. Thank you for coming. I know your time is so. What's the idea that you have? It's something about trucking. You play a trucker. Uh, explain the movie to me, please. Yeah. Right. So. You know, they get the kids, right? And the dad's wanting the kid. Uh-huh. Anyway, they're, they're trucking. It's an arm wrestling contest. Right. Turn the hat around. Uh-huh. And 
the business time, you know? Sold. I right. like it. I like the I, idea. I heard kids. That's all I gathered from that. I yeah, yeah. That, uh, That's all you heard? So you're a dad in this? Speak- yeah, yeah. Well, an absent father. Okay. I, I speak sly. <laughs> A.K.A. It's a translator. Pickup. It's just like another guy. <laughs> Where's he from? Is what he from he, uh, Philly? Philly? Uh, he lived in Baltimore, New York, Philly. You saw the doc, yeah. so it fil- they split up. Mm. So I believe he was more Baltimore, and his father moved to Philly because mm. uh, Frank went with the dad. Right. So you have to see the doc; it's good. Did you see during the pandemic he re-edited Rocky Four? He did. Uh, it's whoa, a great whoa, documentary. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. With Drago? Yeah, he's not. He's mad at him, but yes, he, he is re-edited. Wait, first of all, oh, hold first on. of all, Rocky Four is a masterpiece. I agree. It's like, the only Rocky one. Four? First of all, all the Rockies the are one. masterpieces. Look, look. The first don't three, the do first it. three, Tommy trash. Gunn is. I don't know. Ah! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It still worked. That's Kansas sure. City's own Rocky. The Duke. Rocky One. You don't even have to be flawless. Flawless. Phenomenal. No matter who you are, Flaw. if you have a pulse, the if thing you're a cinephile, it, whatever it is, it stands on its own. One problem in Rocky the Two. Acting, only one. The is it writing, the Robot Butler? No, Rocky that three? Two. Which That's one's Robot three. Butler? Three. Okay, okay. What's the second what's the one? With two? The second one, Rocky beats Apollo. Right. But also, uh, whoever was doing the, you know, casting of the kids in the street, uh, they allowed somebody. Went, remember when he comes out of the house and the kids go around the Trans Am, Rocky, Rocky, there's one little kid mm, what's he, what's he doing? wearing a Dallas Cowboys hat and a Dallas Cowboy jacket. It's my ex-boyfriend, Mario, and I think it's sacrilegious and it shouldn't Whoa. be in the film. That's such a specific movie mistake mm-hmm. that only it, someone from cowboys. there would realize. South like, Philly, you put cowboys. You're like, he would have been beaten to death. Yeah, this child would have been dead and in a dumpster <laughs> with this in hat. In a second. We will not put this movie out. <laughs> the The reality is too much to believe yeah. that uh, a guy with serious mental an disabilities would be Oak an Street absolute... would be wearing a cowboy's hat and a jacket. There are Irish people in this neighborhood. Do you think they would allow that to happen? These people or animals. That neighborhood was predominantly Italian. So what? How did they re-edit for? How's it different? So, so Rock, he, he was just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ro- that's why. Yeah, Tell me, this, what do you want to do the Rocky Four? That says this movie is uh, the, not enough running up a mountain. <laughs> we so, the wait. testing was great for running up a mountain. That I would be great if we get more of that. I added thirty-eight minutes of running up mountains. <laughs> that's fantastic. I fight a billy goat. A billy goat. <laughs> well, yeah. Peter may be angry at that. I don't know if we can have that. In the yeah, film. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. It was so many. He was just saying that there was like he didn't like the montage. There's a documentary about the re-editing of yeah. what's that on? It's uh, we covered it on my other really? podcast. I'll find what's up, it. Doc? Oh my so god! So you definitely this is have up to my watch alley. It. It's so good. I always refer to Rocky Four as an instance of like he's eating a lot of lollipops while oh, he's really? doing it. It's very uncomfortable. He's doing the Brad Pitt awesome. things like eating all the, the time, time. And, and acting, but. It's one of those things where it's not like revolutionary or inspired writing, but it's masterful execution. Yeah. I think it's one of the most masterfully ex- it's it's so like textbook. Yeah. One but of it's, the, it's masterful and it's how textbook it is. With one the of the, main, the original is, Rocky? Yeah. Here's what I'll say about the original Rocky. Say it's great. Ricky. When they made that movie. Mm-mm. He's gonna say something else. Slice Stallone is like, hey. You know how everybody in this country is dumb as fuck? (laughs) What if I made a movie that's just slightly smarter than dumb as fuck? (laughs) And America was like, this is a great movie. Is you have to watch The Sly Dog. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's really good. I like the Arnold one too. It's just kind of cool to. I didn't watch the Arnold one yet. That's a multi parter. I was hoping the Sly one would be a multi parter, but it was just like one. Yeah. Yeah. I I could use a lot more of Sly. I gotta yes, be I honest. My God. You think Dolph Lundgren will have one on like Tubi? And so, it's like so 20 wait, episodes uh, the long? one thing he wa- this is one <laughs> I'd thing. I'd like to see. I'd watch yeah. the Dolph. Like that's the new heyday we're in. Just Man. documentaries right? on action heroes First from the of 80s. All, if Where's he the Van Damme one? If he would have had, Ooh. if Dolph Lundgren would have had the courage to go by Adolf, he could have wait, really, wow. he could have really no, changed that. Name, I don't know. Oh. Is I assumed. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I assumed if you can change, short. we can change. <laughs> you can call him Adolf. <laughs> and we have to think about Adolf. So, and, uh, you know, one of the things he wanted to change in 4, yeah. he said he wouldn't have killed Apollo. Because he, he liked that character? He handicapped him. Oh, why? Just to watch ringside in the wheelchair? Keep like, him, Get a rock. Just to keep him in. Just to keep him. <laughs> he, like, it was little Why'd things. Why did he kill him? Little things. Did he think it was more dramatic? Four was where he lost control. He had Like, to, where they took over. 
He, uh, he, you know, it was uh, he didn't have as much say in uh, it. Ah, the studios so it and stuff. Bugged and, him. And, yeah, hmm. it bugged him. Why don't we have Apollo Creed die, Sly? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. You know, like, it'd be nice if you could still stick in the mood. I don't know. It'd be nice to have Apollo. <laughs> yeah, but impression. I mean, death, death is the final frontier, and I think it would motivate your character more if Apollo was no more. <laughs> I love the way you say it. Yeah, but I mean, you know, wheelchair's still pretty bad. <laughs> he says it so clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wheelchair's not that bad. Like, you know, he's still alive, but like, obviously he wants to walk. But, you know, death, yeah. Yeah, there's no coming back from death. <laughs> What if he? What if he boxes in it from the wheelchair? Yeah. It was like a couple times he'd freeze it and be like, "Now if I went like this instead of this, it would have been a better shot." And I was like, "What is happening?" Still right hung now? up on the boxing choreography <laughs> that nobody would notice. He's a perfectionist. He did talk about them having tans in Russia, so that was weird. What do you? Oh, they wanted that? No, like it, it, it just they did weren't thinking. Oh well, when you're making a movie, you don't you forget yeah. these, these things that are so obvious. Like you're in Russia. Oh, there oh, it, the so making of Rocky vs. Drago. Keep punching. Oh my god, how do I not, dude? I'm it's just happy. So like, good. Doing this pod was worth it for this knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Look at him. I love you guys. Don't get me wrong. But does this he have is a lollipop just... in his mouth in that picture? Because he did have a lot of lollipops. Yeah, and That's they like were sucking on a vape right here on Sunset Strip doing it, and I was so upset that I didn't find him riding around on my uh, bicycle. He was in Russia talking about it. Yeah. Very excited. Yeah, this is where I was running. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. I'm making a new documentary. It's just called The Mountain. Yeah, yeah. In 45 well, hours. I, 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 go, I run up Everest. <laughs> I run there's, up. there's people on the gear, but I think like Rocky, Rick's just uh, jealous because Rocky played polo and nobody knew that. Oh yeah, <laughs> and then in in the slide documentary, he, he falls goes, off, and his dad was like not that great about you know right. when he fell off. Or no, they're playing polo with his dad. And his yes. dad kind of did a little cheap his shot. Dad, huge cheap shot. Yeah, that's because my dad is jealous. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's such like a rich problem, you know, like. You know, growing up, my dad took a cheap shot at me at doing polo. Right. Well, you know, like played, my dad was pretty rough. He, he took said he polo played, cheap like, shots. Pickup polo. And I was like, wait, what? That's not a thing. What do you call it? Yeah. Sandlot polo or something like that. And I was yeah, like, that's yeah. not like, a real. You, know, you go down to the park. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys, how, who, you have a horse? You, you know, have a horse? You have... Kid Rock's there playing <laughs> polo. <laughs> Then you gotta join up with that little boyfriend, Kid Rock, and <laughs> other rich kids and play polo. Yeah, do they Kid have Rock forces is there my for boyfriend. you? <laughs> I love Kid Rock. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it just made me laugh. But uh, yeah, but everybody teases me about Rocky because I always had a crush on him. Yeah, I like, see. Like just, just. Yeah, he's Eleanor the guy. Likes guys who are a little slow. Okay, you're yeah. not wrong on Attainable. that one. And uh, someone that she can break down mentally. My and... brothers would like leave me messages and be like, "In the morning, I splash it on, <laughs> and it makes me smell manly." And then they would just hang up. Because they're assholes. Is that from the thing? Or is Hello, it, like, Rocky 2, the commercials. Oh, I don't like, I'm not Rocky like dumb. I'm not, I'm not like punchy. Yeah. You don't never? No. All right. I know, don't one, know, I know one and four a little better than I know the rest. every single word. I I, three is especially terrible because Mr. Mr. T is so amazing. <laughs> like, you can watch it just for the Mr. T. And if you, if you <laughs> pretend... That you're watching an episode of the A Team. Oh my God! Oh. And then, I love the A Team. It was the well, was one great. of the greatest shows of all time. Yeah. Truly, truly. But George Papard. <laughs> is he a cigar guy or who's? Yeah. Who's, okay. Yeah. It was me, Dirk Benedict, <laughs> and a young <laughs> George Papard. <laughs> he always brought it. Now Papard was doing thunder bumps of cocaine, <laughs> and uh, a young Diane Cannon. <laughs> I don't know if you remember With her. or without Cary Grant at that well. point. <laughs> I love the name dropping of people from yesteryear. And like sometimes like an older person will be talking yeah. about and they like stare. Like they want to see the moment of acknowledgement that never comes. <laughs> but this was a name back in the day. So they'll, <laughs> yeah, they'll yeah, say yeah, the name yeah, yeah, yeah. and they got nothing. Oh. Are you familiar with Tawny Katane? <laughs> I have heard that one. That was like a video vixen, right? Well, yeah. she, she was in a white snake video, okay. wow. which is a reference to a penis. <laughs> oh, really? I actually didn't know that. I did not know that, Argus. Long story short, Todd Bridges in 1987, <laughs> no myself, and uh, do you remember the puppeteer from ALF? <laughs> I know ALF. I don't, I don't, I didn't, I'm not aware well, of Well, this fella, he had a thing. <laughs> 
And it wasn't with kids, but it was adults who looked like kids. Mm. Oh, wow. And okay. that's where Todd came in. He had the hookup. <laughs> You could he could call Emmanuel Lewis, get him down there. Love Gary Todd Coleman, Bridges, obviously. I mean, you used funny. to hang out here all the time. So anyway, point is, Mitt said Biff Maynard <laughs> is a, as talented as anybody, but he's got an attitude problem. That's just, wait. Can I ask you a question? Did you get passed by Mitzi or no, Tommy? No, Tommy. Oh, okay. Tommy. Just, I'm just curious because Mitzi, yeah, he's one of the ones. This would be Mitzi Mitzi's would have favorite. Loved him. Really? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I sure. love hearing Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Because I think it's such an honor to be like passed by Mitzi. You know, it's, there's it's not. not oh but, no, and your I fucking know, characters. I feel, I feel, she would have had oh, really? you doing them on a loop. Fahim all would die. The day. She's like Lance all day. <laughs> yes. You're no longer Fahim. You're Lance. True. You, you probably would have gotten. So there would have been nights where she would have put you twice on the lineup. <laughs> I did that Fahim one time. Lance. One time at the store, I had to do that. That would have definitely been a Mitzi thing. Because Egit was running the store, you know? And then I earlier in the show, I go up as me, and then Whitney's running late, and there's no comics. So he just comes to me like an emergency. He goes, get Lance. <laughs> <laughs> He goes, get, get Lance. Like he addressed it like, like, yeah, like I'm Batman or like, like, like I'm friends Call with, I'm friends, Send out the I'm signal. Peter Parker and I know Spider Man, you know? He's like, get, he goes, the show. he goes, get Lance. <laughs> so I pop the trunk in my car. Oh, yeah. God. Lance I put is the in the trunk? I put a, yeah, yeah, I had a jacket. Wow. I took my, I don't, did you have the hair? Oh, I, didn't have no, I didn't have the wife beater, so I just I took my shirt off, but I had like a, a bomber jacket over it. I had the hair. Yeah. And then I went up. This is maybe like four comics after I'd already gone up. And then I, I go up and I'm like, you guys look strangely familiar. <laughs> this is weird. You ever, you ever did, have they like, even, <laughs> did they even notice or no? I bet some people did and some don't. It's weird because... People who even it know me. It is such me, a drastic kind of a I suppose. Well, it's a personality change. If, to me, it's just like... It's still me. I'm just wearing a mullet, right. and, yeah. and I'm wearing a wife beater. But I guess just like the physicality and personality is different enough. Listen, where... people think I'm Jody Miller, so they uh, I don't yeah, think yeah, they yeah. really. People know. thought I was Davy Wester. Yeah, <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I knew you were faking, man. They thought you were like Kaiser Sozaing it. Yeah, smart. Uh, great way so, in. And how did it go? How did it was the great. set it was, go? It was fun. It, like I think I had to kill some time till Whitney got there, so I think it did like eight minutes instead of the fifteen. Right. And then I got so the light. So it's even of more. Like you could even get into a more kind of right. Well, it was enough time for it to be fun and still. It wasn't like I just did it for two minutes and like uh, all right, Whitney, you know. So it was right, kind right, of like a, right. It was like two sets. They needed. Right, yeah. They needed Lance and Lance came through. Lance That's came really through. what the story is. I just is. love Adam. Dude, the place is on fire. <laughs> <Can> <laughs> get... The sky's falling all the time. It's like <laughs> can you get call Lance. Get Lance, man. Is Lance? Do you know if Lance is even in town right now? I go, yeah. I'll text him. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I, that's, that's so Adam. <laughs> yeah, I I can definitely picture Mitzi doing it. it oh, would be totally. Like, and she that sounds about right. She would have done like five in between. Okay, Give him what's an the hour. other character? You got I'll another character? Like, I have Lance in the main room. I go, what about yeah. me, Mitzi? You're not ready. Not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Lance is Lance is ready for prime time. Crime. You need to marinate in the OR. Well, He's you know Saturday what? Saturday Night Live, your second city. <laughs> Even it's fun live. No one wants to watch it. We'll put what? Fahim in the belly room, okay? Yeah. He's not ready Jesus. yet. Yeah. There's the a chicks? system. I kind of like it. Totally. Like, yeah. Lance Fox. Main <laughs> rooms for people who fuck. I believe Lance Fox. I don't believe. Do you think Lance does, does coke? Oh, probably, yeah. <laughs> probably, All, all the yes. cokes. That would make her happy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just that he's a... It was me. <laughs> Lance. A young John Larroquette. <laughs> Lance can't stop with. I love inserting Lance into old Hollywood. Like, he's a vampire Dude, or that's something. that's great. It was yes, me. Yes, he needs to. Lance him. can't stop with <laughs> on a bender. Lance has Marky Post in a bowling ball. <laughs> Two in the coo, one in the poo. <laughs> and Richard Mulligan, I don't know if you're familiar with a new show they like, just <laughs> released called Empty Nest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Joe Azuzu. <laughs> Argus, what are you like talking a, about, like man? A, like, like an, Argus like, will bring up it's random. It's like a website. It's like a random name yeah. drop generator website you can go to. Like, you literally The need Micro to Machine Man, <laughs> myself. <laughs> You have to like Google the whole time he's talking. Yeah. Like, what is he saying? And you get impressed after the fact. <laughs> you go, oh. oh, Joe Azuzu. I remember him Joe from the commercials. Azuzu. Yeah. <laughs> 
Didn't he do car commercials? He could sell his Uzus better than anybody. <laughs> That's how he got the damn name, Eleanor. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, yeah, Argus. Uh, Tim Thomerson's <laughs> going to be here. <laughs> The best for your money. If you were gonna, if it was gonna bet on anybody making it, it would be Tim Thomerson. He always says that. I watched a movie before I came to the comedy store. I was in college, and I was put in charge. Um, my, I lived in the dorm, and they did movie night. It was like Thursday nights or something. So a different person had to rent the movies, right? And people would try and basically get whatever bullshit was popular at Blockbuster at the time. Right. But I didn't like the people on my floor. So I picked uh, The Wrong Guys, which was a Louis Anderson. Oh. Uh, it was Louis Anderson, Richard Lewis, Richard okay. Belzer, Richard Tim Thomerson. Oh, wow. What a cat. And uh, their former Boy Scouts who were out camping again, little reunion. <laughs> Louis still a Boy Scout camp leader. Naturally. And I believe John Goodman is the bad guy in okay. Hijinks and Sues. He's an escape prisoner. It's very similar uh, to Raising Arizona. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. In okay. that kind of sense. But it's the only thing I've ever seen Tim Thomerson in. How was he? But he's great. He plays like the idiot white guy. Wait, and he's been in a few things, hasn't he? That's the only thing I'd ever seen him in. So when I got here... I saw him and I'm like, hey, that's the guy from the wrong guys, <laughs> the wrong guy. I can't yeah, remember yeah. what it is. Right, right. Um, and then I'm like, oh, he, he must be pretty big. And then I asked someone, they're like, no, kind of sad. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, really? And like, yeah, it, I expected a lot from him. I'm I like, so oh. wanted to have him on. He was here for the 50th. Oh, wow. Okay. And uh, what else has he done? There it oh, is, there the it is. Guys. The wrong guys. Look at that. Look at Louie. I love him. Oh. In a, hey. Oh, Franklin Ajay, of course. That's a great cast. This wow. Is great right here. I wonder if they, one. How dare you, IMDb? I wonder if they wrote it here and was like, we're going to just do all comedy store people. Tapped on. Maybe. Because it's all, it, like, all of them, Franklin. They came to one show and they're like, these guys. talk over this a little bit so we don't get struck. Oh, this yeah, is yeah. amazing. Uh, yeah. We're just captivated. Yeah, we we, can, can you I throw on the whole movie? Literally, I'm like, I got it. So, oh, yeah, I was intrigued. Name, yeah. This trailer's working. There's a lot of good actors in this. Big actors. Or become big uh, listen, actors. This was produced in an era called <laughs> Greenlight It. Who cares if it should be made? <laughs> just Greenlight It. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's greenlit. Whoa. I had such a crush Legend. on him. Wow. I still have a crush on him. Are you watching Righteous Gemstones? I, it's phenomenal. The characters are I unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, now, here's my problem. Uh. I haven't done... What am I? Season three? Yeah. Two or three? End of two, three. Okay. So I'm, I'm behind. I'm all caught up. It's I great. I gotta get up. And I normally don't like comedies. Wet Tim it's Thomerson, guys. <laughs> you just missed a wet Tim Thomerson. Wait, can you Google Tim Thomerson to see what else he's been in? Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. But I know he's been in some other stuff. Yeah, I'll find his IMDb. I just, you in know my head, I'm like. is like seeing comedy legends do their kind of like foray into TV and film yeah. before they're like, fuck this, or maybe it's not for me. Yeah, before you know Richard I mean? Lewis was like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like, <laughs> before he got annoyed with th show business. There's a movie, I think, where Jay Leno's in a movie. There's mm -hmm. one where yeah, Jimmy yeah. Fallon is doing a You know what I mean? Sure. They have these periods where. Jay Leno was like, was it Detroit? Like, Doctor he's Detroit? shooting a gun, right? No. He's shooting a gun in it. There's he's like a, a cop in Detroit. He gets hit by a car. Or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's terrible. Mm. <laughs> it's really bad. I do remember watching. But do you think people does, will Google yeah. us later Letterman's and be in like, what did they oh, do? Too, where he has like shitty parts. Uh, I like that. Here's his IMDb. Oh, boy. Who's that guy? Uh, Eleanor, don't get all swarthy on us. Well, I right. want to know who that is. That's oh, yeah. Uncommon Whoa. Valor. Whoa. Air America? Cool. Catfish Blues? Oh, mm -hmm. you guys, you weren't down with Catfish Blues? Recent, 2017. <laughs> so he's done a ton of stuff, huh? Yeah, I still need to get him on. Shameless, hilarious. One episode, 2011. That's pretty big. 
Great show. Oh, he was in Samurai Priest Vampire Hunter. <laughs> 21 and a wake up. That's 2009. But wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Wolves. I mean, I would, I would yeah. kill for this IMDb. People would care. People would kill to have even an IMDb page. Evil you know? Bong? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, his, it's still going. <laughs> oh, shit. He worked. Sasquatch yeah. Mountain. But I, I, he was such the it guy, like back then, that mm-hmm. you're like, oh, how did yeah. he fall? How, what was his fall from grace? Well, that's and the I'm beauty. assuming it's alcohol or yeah, something. Maybe. But uh, that's the beauty of stand up is that like you don't have to be the it guy beholden to because like once that faucet now. is turned off, yeah, now, yeah, because back then it was you had to have all of it, yeah. Because you can't work unless they say yes. Whereas we can do shows across the country. We're never not working. We'll always be able to work, you know? Mm. And I take solace in that. Speak for yourself. No, you you do shows. You do shows too, you know? I get booked twice a year. I work my ass (laughs) off. Yeah, but those bookings, I mean. (laughs) Let me say this. If you had a Christmas party in Edmonton this year... You were things there. were, you were there. things were a hot lot hey, hotter than we thought. Corporate baby, HR might be getting some phone calls <laughs> about <laughs> the Christmas party, and it ain't because anybody was fucking. I can tell you yeah, that. Yeah, much. Yeah. I told them how much fun they were going to be up there, and they are fun, right? Where'd you play? I've House played, of uh, comedy. Oh yeah, yeah. I heard it's good. Edmonton. The Edmonton one. No. This, I mean, the crowd is fun, but I, I don't think that they were prepared. For what they like got. One of the nights was just one company Christmas party. It was for like a, <laughs> it was like a junior college or a career college or something. And these people were the biggest frauds I've ever met in my life. The the teachers, I'd be like, "What? So you're a teacher? You're a professor also?" And they'd be like, "Yeah." I'm like, "What? What are you? Are you a professor of?" And they'd be like, "Uh, n- numbers and uh, uh, they're making it up on the fly." Uh, yeah. Like, no, wait, numbers? They yeah. didn't graduate yet, so they're like, "Uh, yeah, we're going I need for time numbers? to lie. Don't uh, put me on the spot." Uh, computer technologies. I'm like, computer. What, what <laughs> yeah, year the, is it? The students are even like, what the fuck. <laughs> Hey, how old are these students? Were they like 40? And they're yeah. like, yeah. Like, oh, this is like an adult thing? What's the name of this shitty college? And they're like, uh, was it called? Norquest. Norquest College. Oh, You're just pointing out a Ponzi scheme. Quest? That's yeah. what I kept saying. Like, is this a pyramid scheme? <laughs> Norquest. Not so Northwest? Funny. Norquest? Like, yeah, with the QW. Like, oh. <laughs> you know, what, what even is that? Ah, QW. That's not even real. <laughs> Dude, they were so shitty. Oh, my God. But they were great because. It's Edmonton. Yeah, so they're and like, they're going to laugh. They're like the Texas of Canada. That's what they yeah. pride themselves on. They're like oil. It's like an oil yeah. town too, right? It, reminds, yes. it felt like Wichita, mm. like in Whoa. terms of the vibe where you're like, there's some people who have money, but why would you want to have money there? Yeah. yeah. To go to that mall. And then the mall is the only thing there. I, I was there the second, no, first week of December. So it was like. 20 below freezing. Jeez. So everyone's in there. Everyone's there's in nothing there. else to do. And they got, you know, wave pool. Is it like Mall of gunner. America, it's, kind of? It's bigger. bigger. It's the only Whoa. mall. Bigger. Only mall bigger than Mall of America. Do they have roller coasters in there and shit? Yeah. Owned by the Water same parks, guy. Water parks, the whole thing. I've done the one there has a comedy in the Mall of America. Yeah. It's, it's funny. In Minnesota. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. To be walking past roller coasters on the way to your gig. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like I know, I'd walk they'll by. have hockey games in Edmonton. They have a whole like. There's a ice full rink. hockey arena in the middle of the mall that has its own league. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, you, you're in uh, Edmonton. <laughs> you're eating kids. a pretzel great. Mall hockey outside league. of a Zara. <laughs> just watching a hockey game. Unbelievable. It, it is. It's literally <laughs> right people next walking. to walking. You can... Yelling. People are yelling. Drive by a hockey game. Um, yeah, it was, it's That's pretty be wild. You just have shopping bags. Like, you're playing hockey and you just see, like, people with shopping bags looking at it and then going to their car. Yeah, like, oh, Like, this, it's not even interesting enough for them to stop and watch <laughs> professional hockey. There, there's a weed store. Mm. There's a bunch of them in the mall. There's a gun you range. Can't, you can't... In the mall. Wow. You can't buy it. Like you walk in from the mall and there's just a clothing store that just sells clothes with weed on it. And you're oh, like, wait, but oh, there is a big... Was, is that part? What do you mean? Like, I go, oh, I thought this was like a dispensary. And the lady's like, oh, yeah, you got to go through the store. You can't just sell it in the front. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you so go. did you, you go to the back? Because yeah. it's gigantic. So then you just walk through the weed store or through the clothing, the weed clothing store. Right. What does that mean? Like it's hemp clothes or something? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And it's just like... The, hemp oils, hemp, right. all this stuff. And basically just sold shirts that have the name so of the... I couldn't believe how big it was. Dispensary. Is like, that like a soft reveal of weed? Like they don't 
don't want like a hard, you open the door and there's weed. They're right. like, let them walk through some clothes first. Well, if someone walks in with kids, they can uh, be in that section, but they can't go back to, right. you basically drop, walk through to where like it feels like where the fitting room should be. Right. The but then it's just a hallway down and then there's like a big bright dispensary. Is there someone who actually buys the weed clothes? I'm like, oh, I, I never gone back there. I just want weed clothes. I walked I in thinking I, think I was it going because they said it was popular and there was no, there's just no one in there. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm like, am I supposed to just find the weed and leave? Is that <laughs> where the weed at? I don't never know. Where the, the, the weed at? Weed at? Hey, where the weed at in here, <laughs> Canada? So it's legal out there then? The whole country yeah. is legal. Yeah. Mm. And so then this lady came out and was like, oh, hey, look around. We got uh, a bunch of different CBD stuff. And I got, is there not, do you guys not sell weed? <laughs> the, the, Google said they guys sold weed. And she was like, oh, yeah, you got to go over here. So then she walked me through it. I'm like, what? what is this? And then she explained, like, oh, in order to operate in the mall, we can't be. Oh, I guess because it's have a in a mall. From, uh, okay. from the mall. So you could come in from the outside. We have an entrance from uh, the outside. Or if you come through the mall, you have to go through a re- uh, normal retailer. I could understand that. There's probably too many questions from but kids. Sure. If it's like, Mom, what's, yeah. what's that leaf? Mom, what's that leaf? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it smells weird also, when we walk by. And then, they also have a giant the marijuana leaf room? neon sign in the front window. Right. So I mean, uh, that's how I knew where to go. I see. But. It wasn't a discreet green plus. No, it, it was, was not. <laughs> <laughs> it was not you know the I mean? medical. The med, the yeah. green. That'd be yeah. funny in a video Wee-dee-dee. game. You know how you could pick up health packs? They're just like a green yeah. plus. And this, <laughs> the video game side scroller just starts smoking weed. and just, <laughs> It tells you you have to nap. Yeah, and then he gives up on finding the girl and just eats, has the munchies. He just eats more burgers. Weed? No. Good boy. It's not, I'm not good on it. I just, yeah, it's not fun. Did you ever try it? I've tried it like oh, I've never two, tried it. two or three about times. It. You've never done it? or Mm-mm. Wow. Oh, you do? Do I? I which which one? Uh, which one of my great Oh, bits? I think it's, no, I don't. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, I just think it's, oh, oh, I just get paranoid, you know? I'm just like, uh, oh, oh. and I have to hide it because I don't want to ruin everyone else's good time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where I'm like losing my mind, but I... I just have to be act like, normal. I'm like, oh, this is, this is great. Like, oh, this is that sticky icky. Because <laughs> 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 I have I have a lot of he's shit. Re- he's repeating rap lyrics. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, I'm having like an existential crisis, <laughs> but I don't want to. Like, don't, I don't wanna, let them know. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I go. This is my own journey, and yeah. I don't. I don't want to be the wet blanket for everybody else. Yeah, that's right. the chronic, y'all. So I'm just like, yeah, this is what I'm talking. Is this indigo or is this sativa? <laughs> like, oh, I oh, I usually smoke the other stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the corner if you guys need me. I'll be I'll, yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm just like losing my mind. <laughs> so it's not for me. I oh, think I love I just, that. My mind races too much. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine what I would be like. I can't. So that's pretty crazy to have never even because I tr- I try out of curiosity. I don't like the smell. Mm. Like I probably do coke before I do that. I've never done coke. No. It's on my to do. No, I'm just kidding. It's my <laughs> New Year's resolution. I'm going to try to do all, all the coke in 2024. Listen, I got about a, a year or two left before I hit the old folks home, and, and that's when I start. start I'm going to move coke. to Florida. I'm going to live in the villas, and I'm going to be doing coke and that's driving the time golf to do carts. It. Yeah. I'm going to be a mess. It's not a bad plan. I cannot. That's the little Miss Sunshine plan. Is, I'm old. I do heroin. What's the problem? Have you seen that? That's another yeah, documentary. Yeah. The um, the villas in it's called uh, fuck Young at Heart or something oh, like that. I've heard about it, but I haven't seen um, it. It's, I believe it's on Amazon. I don't remember. I, I don't want to misquote mm-hmm. it because it, it was a while ago. But it was it's about the villas in Florida. They it's they have their own community. They go down there. He got a. There was one guy living in his van, and he couldn't afford to move into the community yet. I, I literally thought it was Dennis Woodrow from yeah. here mm. because he got the Hollywood yeah. actor guy. Do you know who that is? The guy uh, who used to drive with a picture on his like car, baby dolls. Oh, and uh, shit oh he had like a big head of himself trying to get cast. He would drive around uh, Hollywood. Did it work? No, but no. this guy went. He might have got a uh, audition on the Ding Dong Show here at <laughs> the Comedy Store. Definitely got huge, that. But, and I believe he didn't get that either. He probably oh, didn't make the cut. That's, that's pretty not, bad if he can't sorry, get Dennis. that. He wasn't leadable. <laughs> yeah. No. And yeah. so this guy went from here to Cal—I mean, went from California to Florida. And in Florida, he was living in his van outside. And then he got a ticket because he was trying to live outside the villas but still go to the parties. Because oh. he was trying to meet a lady who oh. would take care of him. 82 years old. Still living in his fucking van. Mm-hmm. 
still trying to get puss, meet a, a like you know a sugar, sugar mama. mama. When you yeah. say get puss, so good because yeah. I'm I'm a student of yeah. you know, uh, galern and uh, <laughs> or pudge or pit, pit. Uh, two years old, still, still eating puss. puss, not Getting bad. Some puss, not bad. Me and Jess are Florida down puss, there. out of control. <laughs> Zika so? puss. <laughs> Zika puss. Zika. That, that's not even a reference that makes sense anymore. Get those small-headed baby puss. <laughs> Dude, this is an evergreen. That's, that's, that's weird. Sorry. That's very specific. <laughs> Zika puss. You guys remember Zika, right? <laughs> but and so anyway, he got a ticket. Then they ran his plates, found out he had DUIs in California, so they took his ca- his oh, van. No. So now he's just yeah. on the street, and he Impounded. had to get back with his old girlfriend who lives in the villas but he couldn't get a new girl who would pay his bills so smart he's settling literally crying laughing it was so good came crawling back these old people that are fucked up yeah one guy got arrested for coke and the judge was like you had narcotics on you he goes it was five dollars worth of coke 84 years old (laughs) honestly you should let that guy go (laughs) Yeah, it's, it's like you have to watch it. It's so good. Have you seen the I new clip like today people. of the guy who's getting like sentenced or he's getting denied parole and he like jumps over? Oh yeah, the, what is that? The the yeah, he jumps so high. The one and he, that like, Jeff attacked, he attacks yeah. this judge. Yeah, I saw that. It's that pretty, was a, pretty that great. Jeff that was a, said it was the high jump in, of jail. Oh, for sure. yeah. The judge. This guy got the record. Try to slide out of the way and just like. A, did she slide or did he clip? He might have clipped. She looked like she started looked moving. Like was, she started moving before, but it felt like in he her mind it. he was going to hit an invisible barrier. Yeah. So she was just, it was kind of like Chris Rock <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. at the Oscars, where it was like a slight. Because the judge like, is this move really too far. happening? If yeah, a man yeah. Running directly at me, even if there's he, a death. It was no run. You have no frame this of was, reference for this. You have no yeah. moves. You don't think this is going to happen. Yeah. It's like this a four-minute mile. Yeah, oh, this was a This was a jump. Do you, do you think from now on there'll be like plexiglass? There's got to be. Because obviously a for human has done this, yeah. this. So now what's the safeguard? I mean, yeah, mm. a high jumper. Do we keep it the same of, or do we make the desk like a little higher? I think, I think we need to start raising judges up like 10 feet above or the floor. What if, what if there's this just spikes? Like, there's just oh, yeah, spikes yeah. on oh, the okay. edge of the desk. I like, so they so, can impale themselves. They, yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. So, so you, you can jump, do. but it's risky. Yeah. I mean, this is, maybe this barbed is, wire. This is some razor the shoe wire. bomber. We're gonna have to. Yeah, change, yeah. Exactly. Now we have to change. We things. never thought about a shoe bomb or an underwear bomb. No. And now we have to take our shoes Steve off. These Steve Jobs so. of terror. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Let's see. Watch poor Mary. Oh, Mary. See, she's no like, what's th- happening? <laughs> <laughs> barely, barely gets out of a roller chair. Barely. <laughs> What? I'm flying. Lay I'm it? flying. The moment Again. this person starts running at me. Yeah, where do you think she By the way, I don't see any... What is this? Like, he's going in a pool to well, do he butterfly. Just he was gonna, form. He was going to snap her neck. Oh, that's the other one. The Curious Case of Nan- Natalie Grace. Uh, I watched that, too. Sad. It knows All it. these documentaries make me crazy. Was that Nancy Grace? Natalie Grace. Oh, Nancy yeah. Grace talking about Natalie Grace. Oh, that lady is the I worst. I believe her name was Oh, Natalie. yeah, she had a moment. Is she still doing stuff? Nancy Grace? I guess. She's Who used to have that? the jokes about Nancy Grace saying everything was covered in semen? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know, but I like it, it that. It was Jeff Richards. I can't remember. <laughs> We're coming back in a couple minutes. You're not going to believe it. A fraudulent football ticket sold at the Super Bowl covered in semen. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, it was someone. I can't remember who it was. That sounds like but there Richards. Were, it was always some the most random <laughs> crime. And then they would always say, Come on, Seaman. Right back on Nancy Grace. <laughs> oh, my God. The bus driver with too many DUIs completely covered the bus in Seaman. We'll be right back. <laughs> Just burying it before going to commercial. What, what do you think that guy was? being sentenced to or up for well, or yeah. what was his crime? Was there a lot of semen? That's a good point. <clears throat> it, yeah. It, whatever it was. It, it was a jump over a desk worthy. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, Do you he, think he'll get more time for that? <laughs> I, uh, listen. If Do you she, think that'll affect him negatively? No, but they, they can make a movie about the Olympics, the, the, the prison Olympics that they're going to start entering guys, into. You know, like, forget the rodeo. Honestly, he's forget the so rodeo. many high fives in jail. Yeah. yeah. Man, you got that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's a legend. White power dudes are going to be like, man, that was He'll impressive. never have I, to. Even I was impressed, yeah. man. The guy's like talking shit on the second floor and she they're like, hey like man, you can get up here. 
Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He can jump high. this high. <laughs> Don't make me jump up there. Like, uh, he, he I can will do it. He can jump do it. up there, motherfucker. All they right. Call him Grasshopper. <laughs> His nickname is Grasshopper in jail. It tells everyone. No, I got more views than you do. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. He goes, I'm viral. <laughs> what if he gets a spot on like the U.S. Olympic team when he gets out? Oh yeah. It would be a beautiful. No, we were story. inspired by your story. No one ever thought to jump like that. <laughs> well, and it is. It's How 2024. Far were you so. Back? Yeah. You know, we How could really... How far back did he start running? That's a good point. Yeah. We need a different angle to see his form. Yeah. I want to see... Because she has... There's a solid two and a half seconds of... What the fuck is yeah, he doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Clocking it. She's like, it's like, is he running at me? It was like a micro jump scare, That's right? That's the opposite was... what direction that they usually <laughs> take them out by handcuff. But yeah. he's... Yeah, this isn't... This doesn't seem right. Something do you, seems off. Do you think, I don't want to uh, feel racist. I don't think I'm racist, so I'm not going to move out of the way because I'm sure he's coming up here to say he understands. <laughs> do you think... Uh, she don't want to get canceled. <laughs> they should get like a different bailiff. Like he's feeling bad. Like, oh, fuck. I For should've... sure. Shit. And he bear hugs the dude pretty quick, but also... But yeah. It's after you need the fact. To, you need to be there with the that's, flying that, clothesline. That, that's a blown WWE coverage. style, that is, <laughs> that's, man. That's blown that coverage. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's, yeah. that's you're leaving well, you the been safety in, just dropping uh, and letting it go. Oh my God, that's so. You got to meet him at uh, least. He's Ben. Stone Cold right. style. Goldberg Spear. Yeah. As he comes over, you got to be prepared. Yo, what, what if he met him at the Spear. top? That's what Just I'm like saying. he died. Yeah, yeah. He goes up, bailiff hits him right in the gut with uh -huh. the shoulder, yeah, takes yeah, him yeah, back, yeah. the Go, momentum. Woo! Dude. <laughs> puts him down. I don't know how long he's in for, but when he gets out, he's got a lot of options. Yeah. yeah. A lot. Of Would options. you suck his dick? Hmm. <sighs> Do you think that's what helped him with the jump? Do I you think, use oh, it as a pole vault? It's possible. How big is this? I mean, it didn't I, drag on the podium, yeah. and he and went it really pretty high. Pushed him up. Yeah. No, no, that's a tough question, Rick. Yeah, gonna, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get more information. We'll come back. It doesn't in, have to be covered in yeah, semen. Like a where are they now? <laughs> Jumps over the podium, gets a hold of the judge. Horrible scene. Everything covered in semen. We'll be back. <laughs> Oh my God! Just get I Nancy can't. Grace to yeah. Mystery Science Theater three thousand. All, all these court videos, true what crime. Are, what are the other characters you do on? Is it just Lance? Is there one? They, weren't you doing another one for a while? Uh, or am I crazy? Do I, I just mean, I see you in experiment. different characters? No, no. I think it's just, yeah. Me and Lance, I would do. Lance I mean, was a staple. Lance is a staple. Yeah, and and but great. I, one time I did. Uh, I did it full costume one time. It was like this character called Dirty Seinfeld, and then and then Ooh. I did it at open mic like years ago. They go, I had like the whoever was running the open mic that night was like, guys, this is what's great about the comedy store. We have legends. We have Poppins come in. Like this is unprecedented. You're gonna love him. He needs no introduction. Please welcome Dirty Seinfeld. And then we had the music like a <laughs> and then I had the blazer and stuff and I'd come out and be like, thank you. <laughs> Who's getting posted or not? Oh. <laughs> I'm like, this guy knows what I'm talking about. And this is like my whole set was just like filthy. This is amazing. So funny. Filthy shit. Uh, yeah, you know yeah, that yeah. Dice does that for real? What? Yeah. I mean, he, he doesn't dress as him, but he does Seinfeld. Like, to, oh, does he? When I was yeah. up in my car, I used to do Seinfeld on BET. It was just me. <laughs> It was just me yelling. I would recite uh, old dirty bastard lines as <gasps> Seinfeld. That's great. I'm not okay with the ones who are not fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> I like the hoes who are fucking me. I don't like the hoes who are not fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that was how I. Rick, you gotta bring that's that. That's how back. I would close yeah. when I was an open micer in Kansas City. That was my big closer. <laughs> There was times of, like the whole audience would clap and I was like, man, I'm going to be so big. <laughs> I'll be on SNL in no time if I keep easily. this pace. Yeah. Did the crowd go crazy when you they did loved it? it? Of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. But it's one of those things where it's like great for three minutes. Yeah. Right, Anything like we get it. A after that, yeah. it's like, I can't take more it's of too it. Much, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It's the same premise yeah, yeah. every time. Dice would always catch like a woman who like came with like obviously her, her husband or boyfriend, yeah. like was like, come on, you got to come to the show with me. Yeah. And then the girl's always sitting all nervous and you're like, what'd you expect, honey? I, Seinfeld? I saw you know? him, I saw yeah, him do it. <laughs> we were at the stress factory in Jersey <laughs> and this lesbian stood up and she was so out of place and it like record stop. <laughs> and she goes, you are awful. <laughs> and it's like 15, 20 minutes into a set and Dice goes, what the fuck did you say? And she goes, you're awful. This comedy is awful. And then he goes, 
Who the fuck did you think you were seeing? Steinfeld? Stein. <laughs> you thought I was going to come up and Asshole people. Who are all these asshole people? <laughs> Who are these pussies? That's what he does. He's got an face. asshole face because his face looks like an asshole. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, what? He just kept walking. He just kept walking out, but deck head to toe in denim. And, <laughs> head to toe in denim. And the crowd was just eating it up. Oh, the way people hate him. <laughs> Lesbos don't get me. <laughs> who would you say his biggest fans are, like demographic wise? Like who comes? Um, <laughs> I mean, I know it's a lot. It's like everybody Italian in the world, man. Italian. But it, no, it's I mean, fifty blue collar dudes. Yeah, it, you. It's such a weird mix. Mm. It is, and the, now with the Instagram, it's even added different like younger well because you can't like, hear that from it's so like sure. antithetical to what's happening mm -hmm. with the younger generation and i think it's kind and of refreshing for yeah, yeah yeah they i love it like you'll see like and you'll see like young stockbrokers older like it depends on where we are yeah um because you know even in ohio i was like whoa where'd these people come from like you, you don't expect yeah. them i remember one time we did like vancouver um red Red Rock Casino or something like that. I think the name of it is, and you know all the the whole place. The whole time I'm like thinking everybody's gonna look like every hockey player I've ever uh -huh. seen, and then all these Italians come out of nowhere, and I was like, "Whoa, what is this? A witness protection? What are you guys doing up here?" Vancouver's and amazing. Loved, by the way. Oh, yeah. I they love have Vancouver. every so walk great. of yeah, life. I'd love to live there. Every if, walk if of it wasn't life. Vancouver. <laughs> It's Canada. But, if it wasn't you know, Canada. Yeah. No, absolutely gorgeous. And when we it's played... It's amazing. And they have so many, like, uh, like it's wild, the communities. Beautiful. So many of them, and they're like, everyone's nice. Yeah. They, you could, I will like, say what, they what rival like, us in homeless, though. They, oh, really? Oh. They do. Mm. and it's all, But it's all in one part of town. Like It's literally like they bulldoze but it's an all insane. the homeless people uh -huh. into that But even section. the homeless people are nice, and they, they're like, we get it. Well, We're they're all not Everybody up Very there is nice. Uh -huh. We don't um, need your money. The government does pretty well for us. Like, we're... We're fine. They're like England, and we have yeah, cool. we have shoot up stations where yeah. we're fine. <laughs> Thank they you. All, they all hate each other, but they're also very polite about yeah. it. Yeah, so they all yeah. hate each other. But yeah, they do. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. like in, when, when you're doing a big crowd, like and you're asking people, oh, well, you know, what are you? And it's there's so many answers, and <laughs> yeah. like it, no matter what you That's say, what I mean. they're like so excited pot. to make fun of them. Oh, mm. like they've been waiting. Like, yeah, yeah. like oh, we're shit. not allowed to do this. Yeah, and so it's but like Americans here, we get to. There's so many Asian. An people. American will do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a monster. It's like the Ameri so it's okay. yeah, the American well, yeah, is the asshole on the friend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I love it. He's gonna say what we've been thinking. This guy's great. He says what we're thinking. <laughs> and then every once in a while, you got to go back to the the bread and butter, which is how, look how ugly these fucking whites are oh up here. Oh my god! Uh, but yeah, because it is like the, in Vancouver and Toronto, both it's, it's multicultural. The most, the most beautiful Places. multicultural uh, women I've ever seen. The yeah. white people hideous. <laughs> Like they found the ugliest whites, and they were like, "All right, let's let's, let's bring in some beautiful jerk. people from elsewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. and see if we can't fix this two or three <laughs> generations from now." Because you literally walk around, you're like, "Oh my god, that's the hottest Indian chick I've ever seen. Yeah, it's the hottest yeah, yeah, yeah. Asian chick. It's the hottest. It's one after another." And then you're like, "Ooh, what is that's that? A, that's a yeah. white woman up here. <laughs> Looks like Rick Moranis with one shaved leg. Hot, you know, doable." All right, we need, uh, they'll need Fahim upstairs in 10 minutes. All right. All right, so how, how long we, have we been going on? Real. An hour. All right, so we can wrap this we up. Can Fahim, where can we find you? Up. Where can you find me? I'm on all the socials, at Fahim Anwar. That's Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I couldn't get it, so it's Fahim Anwar Comedy on TikTok for Fuck. you young folks out there. Yeah. Who, has, who has Fahim Anwar? Some motherfucker, I don't know. What, what an loser. asshole. Yeah, yeah. Give it back. Give it back. You're not doing it. I actually haven't. Do you that. know who he is? You know is? who I am. We should have a Fahim Anwar off and whoever's bigger should get it. Uh, <laughs> whoever, <laughs> whoever can dance better. Yeah, it's a dance off. <laughs> then YouTube is slash Fahim Anwar. I put my special up on there. I'm always putting stuff yes. on the YouTube. So. Hat trick. Hat trick Excellent. filmed here at the World Famous Comedy Store. Right All above rooms. us. This is the only room, room. Original room. That the he only room he in. refused to do I a said, set I'm not, not going to do a set in the podcast studio. There's no crowd. It's weird. <laughs> We're going to put a crowd. Assisted. He's like, we have three cameras. <laughs> Trust me, dude. We have podcast You're gonna mics. Want the footage. We just got a, uh, a West Elm table. You're going to love it. <laughs> we got. <laughs> this is very specific. Table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried to get uh, Sly to come down, but the best we could do 
Frank Stallone. Come on all in, right, Frank. Frank. All right. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Thank you, guys. You like, subscribe, see all that me. shit. I'm on MySpace. And, uh, oh, man. Yeah, see me. Curious. I'll be at Tom's. He's all of Eleanor, it. Eleanor, you got I'm any dates? I'm all over there. I'm, check out my website, eleanorjkerrigan.com, and I have plenty of dates coming up, so check it out. I'm doing a bunch of dates uh, somewhere else if any of you guys want to book me for them, so <laughs> let me know. All right, great. Thanks, guys. Later. It's always important to Forrest Gump at the end of any interview. Like a car, like a car dealership. Oh